Giles Thomas for MuscularDevelopment.com here at the 2020 Arnold Meet and Greet with the King Snake, Steve Cooklow. Let's do it, baby. What's going on, guys? We're here. Um, you know, obviously, we didn't know if we were going to be able to compete and be here, but I'm sure as hell happy we're getting on stage. You're the first competitor that I've actually asked about that tonight because I, I was trying to avoid it, but what's that been like? I was talking to Steve Blackman, and he was saying it must be quite difficult for the pro competitors to have this. What's it been like? Well, when we first, uh, when I personally first saw the announcement that, uh, you know, it, it was canceled, I mean, initially you're thinking everything's canceled, you're like, shit, I just put in 12, 14 weeks uh, prep and, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to get on stage. So I was coming here anyways, I was going to make my own trophy <laughs> and uh, I don't yeah. care, write my own check. I didn't care at this point, I wanted, I wanted to get on stage, but... Uh, um, I mean, it, 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 there, there was a little bit of stress factor, and you're trying to cut all that out. And right now, the fact that we know that we're going to be competing Saturday, that that's on, okay, we can go back to the game plan and just focus on getting on and bringing, it, bringing our package. But it definitely uh, threw us for a loop, you know? You're like, what, what's going on? Did you feel the cortisol levels start to... Yeah. And the, the abs started to go a bit watery? Uh, it's a little bit, you know? It kind of got a little bit, uh, right, you know, I, I, it was kind of a mix of emotions. You're kind of like angry, like, what the heck's going on? And you're kind of like, well, I kind of understand. But then you're like, no, I, I want to compete. So, mm. you know, there's all kinds of emotion running through you. Back to bodybuilding. Yeah, right. um, <laughs> you came, you got your highest placing ever at the Olympia last year. You took sixth place. What's it been like since? How's your prep been? Prep's been really good. Uh, mm. You know, there's not, I always tell people, there's not a lot of downtime between Arnold and Olympia, you know, so there's not a lot of time to kind of lose condition and, and, and put a lot of size on or, you know, so for me, I always love training hard. I love living a lifestyle, doing everything I got to do. Uh, so it kind of started in a good position going into this prep. I think it, it, it allowed me to get ready a little bit sooner than previous preps. And uh, just I, I, for me, I think I'm, I'm, we were able to kind of stick to a game plan, which was get ready ahead of time, be able to kind of coast or, or feed into the show more than pull, pull, pull. And I think it's played in our favor. So when did you decide to do the Arnold? And was it after you took sick that the Olympian thought, right, I'm really, I need to ride this wave? That was a that was a definitely an influential factor in deciding yeah. to do it. A confidence booster. Definitely confidence booster. Knowing like, hey, okay, because I, I always say you can't cherry pick shows. You can't be like, well, maybe these guys gonna do this show and not this show. And you know, I mean, if I looked at it that way, I was like, maybe nobody shows up to the Arnold this year and I can win it. And then look, it's the strongest lineup. Like they <laughs> yeah. they literally said during our meeting, this is the best lineup that they've ever had. Yeah. So I mean, you just can't do that. But I mean, because every guy that's stepping on this stage is is amazing. So I mean, it's gonna be one heck of a show. I'm not saying she's biased, but your mum messaged me yesterday, and she said you're gonna win it. Mama Kook knows. I mean, that could be a shirt. Mama Kook knows. That's a shirt. <laughs> I know you'd wear it. I heard she's psychic. She's psychic. You know, and that's not alcohol-driven psychic. That is legit. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So what are you waiting for this uh, Arnold Classic? I'm floating, right? Uh, maybe about two pounds lighter than I was at the O. Um, but it's kind of a different look. I think it's a little bit grainier look, um, a little bit... Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I think that every year the muscle maturity is setting in a little bit more. Um, I, I, I'm excited to get on stage and kind of see what improvements I've made. I really, I really focused a little more back detail and, and really hit my back hard, uh, more upper chest. And I think those two things really came out. For me, your physique really stepped up in terms of conditioning because I was very frustrated as a Steve Cookler fan for many years. And then I was here at the 2018 Arnold. And it was because it was always you always lacked a little bit of detail from the back, yeah, sure. and every single time you've competed since the 2018 Arnold, you've had that conditioning. You've took a real step up. I would say you're right on that. I think a lot of that is kind of figuring figuring out the formula. Uh, when I started working with my trainer now, Gina Davis, I mean she's very meticulous with details and and kind of really you know we're able to bounce stuff off of each other as far as like hey. This is what I'm going to do with you. What do you think? And I kind of give her my feedback, and, and it really works. And in that way, she adjusts everything to really how I'm feeling, um, and, and she understands a big body and how to how to feed it and what it needs and and how to train it to make the the improvements. Have you put a good posing routine together? Because I, I'll be honest, I've given Steve a lot of flack for his posing, but at the Olympia, flack's <laughs> flack's a, a very conservative word, but at the Olympia, you kind of your, your posing was definitely better. 
but I still want to see better from you, Steve. Yes, I, I'm, I'm having a refined um, routine from the Olympia because okay. I really like the, the music I put together for it, so I wanted to roll that again, but just kind of a little more refined on it. The first minute was beautifully choreographed, and then you went back to your... Well, I can't, you got to work the audience. I don't want to sit in one spot. I'm not going to, I don't play the, you know, the baby making music like, like Dexter <laughs> likes playing. Well, maybe we like, maybe some people like baby making music. All right. <laughs> but for me, I, uh, you know, I like the energy of the audience. I want to get, you know, get in your face a little bit, but uh, it must Hard be rock. a Texas thing, you know, like, like Branch. Branch liked uh, getting in your face. I want to get psycho. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a bit of a uh, two, 2011 Arnold trivia there for yeah. you. A uh, bit of a throwback. I was here. I was here. Okay, well, Steve, um, what's the goal for the, the Arnold Classic this year? We're coming to win. You know what? There's no more. I want to get top five. I want to get F that. We're coming to win. Um, it's going to be a great show. I think it shows anybody, anybody's show, whoever shows up. It's going to be I, my, my take on it. It's a big body show. Everybody, like, a lot of big guys in the show. The odd guys out are going to be Dexter and Bonac, who are the smaller guys. Everybody's 250 plus. You got Big Rami, myself, Josh, um, Akim. You know, the, these guys are 270, 280. You know, it's going to be a big boy show. Those guys you've just mentioned, Akeem, Rami, Cedric, even yeah. Cedric. Yeah. Um, imagine if all those guys, Josh and Artwix, imagine if all those guys get yourself get called out. Can you imagine the crowd is going to go crazy? Between those four guys, that's well over a thousand pounds of muscle on that stage. <laughs> yeah, I like a lot of beef. I like the way this guy thinks. <laughs> okay, Steve, well, it's always a pleasure, mate, and I'm really excited to see, uh, yeah. see how you're going to be looking this weekend. We're, and, bringing uh, it. We're bringing it, man. It's going to be a great package. I'm excited. I got the whole crew here. Like always, the Kuklo's rolled deep. Yeah. And, uh, you you bring know, a big team, don't you? I do. You know, that, that's to me, it, it's kind of like brings a family together, a little bit of a reunion, but everybody has a good time, and uh, they kind of calm me down because it's, okay. you know, I'm like, I know I got my crew with me. You're a very calm guy, though. I am, I am, but is that I, why? I think that's probably attributes to it. You know, my wife does an amazing job making sure I'm, I'm good. Amanda Latona, one of the legends of uh, bikini, there. Yes, Amanda, she there she is. That look, you know, throws a little smooch on my cheek, and then I'm, I'm back to like melted chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm not going to drop the mic, but I feel like this is a drop the mic moment. <laughs> so, uh, with Steve Kuklo, I'm Giles Thomas from MuscularUrban.com. Thank you, guys. Brilliant.